the job of citizenship in the 21st century is to build up the positive forces of our interdependence, like cooperative scientific research, cooperative economic advances, and to reduce the negative forces of interdependence, which essentially are inequality, instability, and unsustainability. And many of the jury trials that I was in, only the ones that I lost as a prosecutor did I think the jury got it wrong. <laughs> um, <laughs> I never thought that as a judge, because even though I think all of the acquittals that uh, occurred before me as a judge, in every one of them, if I had been a juror, I probably wouldn't have voted a not guilty, but I understood why the jury did. There's a whole mystique in America. Look, uh, one thing is you can't just talk. You talk too much. You think too much. That's not against talking and thinking. It's just that this film says underneath that, you better be prepared to use force when you have to. Because if people are bad enough, you've got to shoot them. You say, do any of us believe that? Well, how do you feel about President Eisenhower sending those 1,000 paratroopers to Little Rock? Now, where do we draw this line? Because the judges couldn't have done that by themselves. You could have had 9,000 judges ordering integration in the South. But it took more than that. And I usually say when I talk about this to judges from Africa or Asia, I say, you've got to have the people with you. You do have to have the people with you. It did take the Freedom Riders. It did take Martin Luther King. But it certainly didn't just take lawyers and judges. The people that come from far off lands, where our neighbors, are the ones that are the risk takers. They're the ones that don't come to get in line for government programs. That's, that, that is, people, some people say that, that is just ludicrous. They're the ones that risk everything to come. Those that want to come and stay here, that embrace our values, are going to be conservative if we let them be. <laughs> if we actually <laughs> allow them to embrace our, our message and not be, you know, sending this signal that we want your, everybody, you know, of course we want your vote, but you can't be on our team. That message doesn't work. And the risk takers are what we need, and they're more Republican than Democrat in my mind. I never told anybody that Bill Clinton asked me to be a, a judge. As a matter of fact, I tried to stop it. He asked me, and I said no. Um, why? I would, uh, I would have uh, written opinions. Yeah, probably I would have disagreed with Scalia from time to time, but it's it was 75, 80 cases. I had spent 20 years before then, learning all about the problems we have, the whole country has. President didn't go for it. He said, um, <laughs> he said, uh, he said, man, you can make a speech, man. Oh, he really can make a speech. He said, but that doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> when I came back, believe it or not, I don't even believe it to myself. I became, I re-became more religious than I was before. I didn't even think about anything else. All I thought was, almost, not the same words, I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you. You don't want me to believe in you, I will believe in you. <laughs> horrible surprise after someone's been executed is that they just feel it was too, too fast or it didn't torture them enough or something. Mm -hmm. They all say afterwards that they don't get any sense of closure. They because, don't feel better. No, it doesn't make That's you feel better. They put everything into wanting these people to be killed. They watch it happen and they go home and they don't feel any better. I'm still lingering with your question of uh, if I knew that torturing somebody would save 3,000 lives, would I torture? Don't know. Don't know. But I know this. I'd have to damn well know that they were, <laughs> that there was something for them to confess. When you're faced with a situation like Gitmo that doesn't have a black and white answer, it's so much easier to be like, wow, the world's complicated. I need to find some dogma to hold on to. All she wants is to be like, they did 9-11? Yeah. Oh, please. If I could believe that, my life would just be golden. It's exactly what I want 
to be able to get behind. But I, you know, and that's why she signs up for it too. It's um, it just takes the thinking out of it completely. And then there's just this slow, like steady tingling vitality. You're just like, I'm actually not dead, and oh my god, I can't accept this. The fact of the matter is that we knew they were, the Russians were no threat, military threat, and that we were all powerful. At the same time, we wanted to persuade the American people to be frightened. And Senator Vandenberg said, we've got to scare hell out of the American people. And so what was created was a kind of civil religion of, of a very punitive Puritan civil religion in which there were loyalty oaths and blacklists and ritualistic confessions in front of congressional committees where no crimes were assumed to have been committed except crimes of thought. 71 times in the Simpson case, the prosecution of the defense said, this trial is a search for truth. Let me be very clear, criminal trials are not a search for truth. If they were a search for truth, the judge wouldn't tell the jury. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, if after hearing all the evidence, you believe the defendant probably did it, you must acquit that defendant. I go to business schools uh, as part of you know, my job of talking about how our office operates and discussing with people who are gonna be the future leaders of corporate America how they might conduct themselves and avoid, for example, me. <laughs> um, and, 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 and it's amazing because, they, because you know, they ask questions like, the people you prosecute, are they mostly bad people who have done bad things? Or are they good people who have done bad things? And you know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit of both. Question, it's, yeah. it's a great question. And it's not, it's not you know, there's no element of the crime of either insider trading or securities fraud um, or, uh, or theft of, of government services, or whatever the case may be, that asks you the question, is this a good person or not who made the mistake? I mean, you really threw the book at Madoff. How do you, how do you judge when you know the world is watching? Yeah, well, it was, it was a lot of pressure. I felt a lot of pressure. Um, and here, I didn't struggle so much with, with the number, um, but I, I certainly struggled with how to impose it, what do I say, but, the defense lawyer argued that, 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 that I shouldn't succumb to mob uh, vengeance. And um, just because there were a lot of people saying the same thing did not mean that this was a mob. I am a confirmed capitalist. What I believe is in is intervention that will save the market. What the other side believes in is intervention that will preserve a broken system of corporate control that has brought us to the precipice the plutocracy of a few banks that made enormous money that destroyed the heart and soul of our economy. Welcome to the ninth annual Forum Film Festival and it's our third night, third year in which we host the annual Folks Awards Night uh, which is where we uh, give awards of various different kinds of distinctions to uh, short films 25 minutes or less uh, on a legal or human rights theme. Prayer. يسمونهم طائرات مفترسة طائرات بدون طيار هذا يريحك؟ مركان مش مهتمين فيك أو فيي هذا صوت المخيف يسرق النوم من عيوني أنام على ظهري ساعات وأنا أعرف أنها تحوم حوالينا عدهم ساعدك بعد المعاذ على <تصفيق> دوسة تريسة عنوز جو ما يدنتفكاب أسر ونا مخير بسا but I always lived with that fear. It was just a great way uh, to get people who are interested in issues and want to tell stories, which is just such a powerful way um, to get people interested in something like transgender immigration. It's like, Evelyn Lee, you should just do the world a favor and drink bleach and die. And she hung herself and she's dead. And I think Tanya got what she wanted. And I think it's Tanya's fault as well as Melissa's and Charlie's. I like that it creates controversy and a debate after, which is why I leave it to the audience as to what the verdict is.